Hi everyone, this video covers system acquisition strategies, or in other words, what is the best way to acquire the system? The learning objective for this video is a student should be able to describe three ways to acquire a system, custom, packaged, and outsourced alternatives. You should understand the pros and cons of each of these three acquisition strategies. Now that we've analyzed all the needs for the system that we want to acquire for our company, we consider the three ways that we can go about acquiring that system. First, there is custom development, which means building it from scratch in-house, having your IT people do all the programming from the bottom up. The second option is to purchase a software package and possibly customize it. Uh, that could entail installing something on the organization's computers or obtaining access from a software provider. That's called Software as a Service, S-A-A-S-S. Software as a Service is where you pay to use software instead of paying up front for the whole package. So for example, Microsoft Office 365 is Software as a Service, where you pay a monthly subscription to use it. The third option is outsource the development to a third party, such as a consulting firm or a vendor. The outsourcer might build the system from scratch for us, or they might purchase the software for us and customize or install it. Let's talk about each of the three in a little more detail. So we're going to go over what are the pros and cons of each of the three strategies. One thing that you might want to do as you're watching this video is at the beginning of each of the following slides, pause for a minute and see if you can think through on your own what the pros and cons of each of these strategies might be. Let's start with the pros of custom development. Can you think of what some of the pros might be? First, we are going to get exactly what we want. We can tell the programmers what to do and how to build the system so it can be exactly how we want it. The new system can be built consistently with existing technology and standards. So if we have other software that we're already using, we can build our new software to look the same, act the same, and so forth. Third, we can build and retain technical skills and functional knowledge in-house. So if we want our IT department to be able to have the skills of building and maintaining this software, then it's good to have them get their hands dirty in building it. Next, it allows for team flexibility and creativity. Finally, unique solutions can be created for a strategic advantage. Your development team could end up creating a system like no other system that is out there which will create a strategic advantage for your organization. What do you think are some of the cons of custom development? First, it requires a significant amount of time and effort, and it may add to existing backlogs if the IT department is already busy with other projects. It might require skills that are not currently held by employees of the organization. Sometimes it costs more to develop those skills in order to be able to create the system rather than having paying someone else to create it for you. And it usually takes more calendar time. Finally, there's a risk of project failure because of the complexity and time and cost that are involved in developing your own uh, software in-house. What are the pros of purchasing software? First of all, there's no need to reinvent the wheel for common business needs. If the project that you're looking for is something that already exists, there's no need to program it from the bottom up. If you need word processing software, it probably makes more sense to purchase Microsoft Office than to try to program your own word processing software. Usually, purchase software is a tested and proven product. You already know that it's not going to have a lot of bugs and errors in it. You usually have significant cost savings and time savings. You can utilize the vendor's expertise and some customization may be possible. One example of this is I used to work for an accounting firm that sold QuickBooks accounting software. What that allowed us to do as an accounting firm was we became experts in how to customize QuickBooks to meet several different industries' unique needs. For example, how a real estate company could use QuickBooks to the fullest or how a construction company could use QuickBooks to the fullest. So even though the client was purchasing a pre-made software, they were able to leverage our expertise as an accounting firm in how they could best use that software. What are some of the cons of purchase software? Purchase software is rarely a perfect fit. Going back to the QuickBooks example, I remember more than once that our accounting firm sold QuickBooks to a company that had some unique needs that QuickBooks couldn't 
meet. We sold QuickBooks to one company who was renting out properties and it was really difficult to track monthly rents in the standard QuickBook format. So similarly, organizational processes sometimes must be adapted to the software instead of the other way around. Another kind of purchase software is that you have to rely on the vendor for maintenance and future enhancements. You are often not able to utilize your own IT department to maintain or update the software. Further, your IT department won't develop in-house functional and technical skills related to that software, and unique needs may go unmet. Finally, if you require system integration, that is often really difficult to achieve with purchase software. So in other words, if you have a system that you're needing to integrate with, it's harder to find a software that integrates with it than to build that yourself. So again, going back to the QuickBooks example, if you have an inventory system that you're using, uh, inventory software, it's really difficult to get that to speak directly to your inventory accounts in your QuickBooks file. The third acquisition strategy is outsource development. I mentioned earlier that I did some work as a consultant. Many clients hired me to do this because they didn't have the expertise in-house. They were able to save time and money and it was lower risk. Further, some consultants specialize in systems integration. What are some of the cons of outsource development? First, there's no opportunity to build in-house expertise. Again, your own IT department might not be able to maintain or update the system as much as they would like to. There is a reliance on the vendor to do those type of things, and your future options are limited. Another potential con of outsourcing is security. There's a potential loss of confidential information if you have outside vendors and consultants dealing in your system. Finally, performance is based only on contract terms meaning that sometimes managers find it easier to motivate their own employees to perform quality work as opposed to having someone from the outside come in and work on your project. As you can see, each of the three acquisition strategies have pros and cons, and the one that you choose will depend on a lot of factors, which we'll talk about in the next video.